once again what is the first step yes my friends check if you have the service manual the service manual is the most important part check that you have exactly the service manual according with the series with the model of the engine the family engine be a hundred percent sure that this is exactly the manual that that uh, you need because uh, uh, in this specific example today we are going to analyze the tolerance in between the piston and the cylinder wall and we are going to verify if the clearance are according with the manufacturing specification those those clearance we are going to verify if at the bore the bore on the cylinder and uh, the diameter on the pistons the difference between both of them are according 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 with the information in the service manual this is critical this is the most important part in this particular example uh, i use uh, i use always this tool this tool is excellent and uh, i compress i compress uh, the, the, the wings <clears throat> and immediately you compress the wings this is my recommendation pass your finger pass your finger internally and touch and touch that uh, all the all the rings close properly any any ring is a little open if you have some ring a little open try again remove the tool put it back the tool and compress the tool again and pat your finger carefully and verify that all the all the rings are flat with the surface uh, of the piston all right exactly exactly like this yeah you pat the finger and you verify that all the rings are fully compressed what happens if the rings are not fully compressed? When you try to introduce the piston, the rings expand and the piston never enter. Hey, my friend, this is other important recommendation. When you try to introduce the piston, if you feel that the piston is hard, don't try to introduce with a hammer. You need to remove the tool, remove the piston again, and compress the rings again until you feel with your fingers that all the piston rings are fully compressed. According with the manual, you select the torque appropriated for that specific uh, uh, connecting rod and you apply the torque, you use the socket appropriated, the black sockets are excellent and you torque the connecting rod according with the manufacturer specification. Okay, we are going to analyze what happened with the piston and the piston range in each scenario. The first one, look at this lack of lubrication oh yeah yeah look at the wall of the cylinder look at this this is completely welded the rings and the pistons are completely welded lack of lubrication oh yeah yeah what happened where is the problem in that particular cylinder you you have that problem only in one cylinder what happened the oil jet on that cylinder was clogged. No oil, no spray of oil in that cylinder. The other cylinder is good. What is the problem? Probably internally in the block, the cavities are clogged. Why? 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 Because the oil is dirty or because the people use additives. I don't recommend use additives for the motor oil i don't recommend use additives be careful never use additives because the additives is a gel when the temperature decreases, the gel clogged those cavities never use additives okay this is the situation this is the situation lack of lubrication in one cylinder and this is the final result all right this is this is one situation look this is an other other picture for lean mixture this scenario is the worst scenario uh, the piston is completely melted yeah this is a real picture this is a this is the catastrophic consequence when the piston when the, when the engine is running lean for a long period of time okay if the temperature well, I explained at the beginning of this course you need to check always always two gauge the oil pressure gauge and the temperature gauge both of them are very important if the oil pressure decrease the, the the normal the normal position a little you have problem you need to stop and identify what is the problem only the only uh, 
additives uh, recommended for me are the additives for fuel because the majority of the additives used in the fuel uh, they improve uh, the cleaning of the combustion chamber this is good and uh, improve uh, uh, the, the resistance of, uh, of the fuel to be uh, emulsified with water okay uh, I recommend uh, I recommend additives for fuel I don't recommend additives for motor oil I don't recommend additives for transmission oil I recommend additives for fuel and I recommend also additives for coolant the SCAs supplemental coolant additives we are going to study in, in, in other uh, chapter those additives are excellent those are the only additives that I recommend in both scenarios in fuel and in coolant